Okay. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're setting up for the hopper. And we've uh, welded some uh, angle iron uh, surrounding it. You'll notice we have a little bit of a ledge still left on the inside. What we're going to do is going to take some bar stock and we're going to weld a square in place. Uh, we're going to mark it so you know it may not be quite precise so we know which direction is the uh, back of the, uh, of the uh, crusher. And then we're going to cut uh, some pieces of metal. This is the layout for the hopper. 14 inches from here to here, 7 and 3 quarters from here to here, 12 inches tall. We'll cut four of these and then we'll, we'll weld it to the uh, flat bar stock angle and we'll spot weld it in place. Okay, this is what we've got so far. We've welded our square of the flat stock and made sure it fit into the, the uh, top of the baler. And we cut four of these and we weld them here a couple of tack welds and we bend it back slightly and we've tack welded them together. And this is what the hopper looks like. And here's how it fits in. Now what we've got to do is we're going to set the pin. We're going to use a pin to control the operation as far as pulling it back, uh, locking it forward, and when it's moved, pulled back, pushing the cube out. So what we've done is cut a piece of wood uh, nine and a quarter inches long. Maybe slightly more than that, but not much. And we're going to drive the machine forward, and we're going to make a mark here on our where our pin's going to go for retrieving it back the appropriate distance. Now we're going to lay out some uh, external ribs. Uh, we'll have uh, two ribs that go on the main part of the box where the uh, where the uh, compaction. Okay, we're going to start with a few tack welds on top. We've got it clamped in place. And then we're going to do clamp this side of the piece and do a few spot welds. And the last thing we're going to do is get everything lined up and then do the weld the next to the other.
fit. That is the entire cube all stuck together with no bandage. How many cans? Uh, 266 cans. <laughs>